एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल दृष्टि आई एस इंग्लिश इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ एनवायरमेंट प्राइम वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी प्रेसिंग इशू दैट इज इम्पैक्टिंग अस ऑल द टाइटल ऑफ आर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज 2023 इज ऑन द ट्रैक टू बिकम द हॉटेस्ट ईयर एवर इन दिस डिस्कशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट वाई हैज टू बीन सो वॉर्म वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू सी द क्लाइमेट चेंज इम्पैक्ट विच इज ड्राइविंग द हीट दिस ईयर वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू सी what is expected in the upcoming months whether we will experience winter in india like winters normal winters or we are going to experience a warm winters this year and in the end we are going to discuss a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination so now let us proceed to understand the background of our today's topic and if i talk about the background of our today's topic it has recently been reported by a european union's climate change watchdog that this september that is the september 2023 is the hottest ever september recorded so far and not only september if i talk about 2023 uh, the nine months which we, we have passed uh, passed they are also the have been warmer so let us analyze that what is driving the heat this year why has 2023 been so warm so if i talk about the year 2023 it has broken all records and it is predicted that it will be the warmest year ever recorded and uh, after 2016 the 20, 2023 is uh, set to become the warmest year ever recorded as predicted so this is not something new the scientists knew about it why because the average global temperatures are rising the greenhouse gases are rising climate change is here we are not talking about uh, past 10 years or post 10 years impact the climate changes impact is visible as of now by the average uh, rise in global temperatures and if you talk about the september 2023 report that has come that it has been a warm september or the warmest september the world has ever seen you can realize what the climate change is doing to all of us so 2023 is feared it is feared that it is going to cause a rise in the 1.5 degree celsius temperature so it is going to breach this mark and uh, the summer of 2023 was also the hottest summer recorded on earth so this is all the impact of climate change that is going on and if i talk about the causes that is driving the heat this year those so the first cause as i am discussing with you is the cause of climate change so climate change is here as i was discussing this before also that this is not a phenomenon that is going to happen after 10 years no this is here climate change is here and uh, this hot september or the warm 9 months of 2023 are a proof that climate change is unleashing its worst impacts on us and if we do not take positive actions then definitely the climate change impacts are going to grow worse over the years the second cause that is driving the heat this year is the development of el nino in the pacific ocean so what is this el nino el nino is a natural phenomenon that occurs and that results in the warming temporary warming of the uh, pacific ocean and it changes the weather worldwide and if you talk about the impact of el nino in india it decreases the monsoon hence the heat this year in india also there have been sev sev uh, severe heat waves that we have suffered and if i talk about the month of september the month of september is usually known to bring in cooler temperatures but on the contrary the september has been the warmest september the world has ever seen and including india also and if we talk about india also we have also experienced a warmer september with the average maximum temperature uh, was above 35 degrees celsius 35 degree celsius in the month of september so this uh, 2023 is the el nino year and that is why also the global weather is changing and el nino is known to keep the weather warm so the development of el nino in the pacific ocean is the second cause of the warm uh, causing of the heat this year then the third causes rise in average global temperature so this is what i was talking about that the average global temperature is rising rapidly we uh, in our first lecture of bond climate change of environment primer 
we discussed that the greenhouse gases are rising we discussed what is climate change and how it is driving the temperatures globally and if we do not put a check on it definitely it is going to unleash its worst impacts on us and as per the united nations secretary general also that the climate change is here it is not something that is going to happen in the next 10 years it is actually here so what is the climate change impacts on this uh, 2023 let us analyze so if i talk about the climate change impact on to the year 2023 the record breaking temperatures in september come on the back of several similar records for other months this year so this is what i was explaining to you before also not only september 2023 the nine months which have passed in the year 2023 have also been very warm to us in fact july this year was not just the warmest july it was the warmest for any month you might have heard in the news also that the july 2023 was the hottest july which we ever recorded not only july remember the heat waves we experienced this year and remember the california fires that were happening remember the average temperature rising in europe and canada and usa so what is all of this this is all because of the climate change and the impact of global warming on which is occurring as we have discussed in our very first lecture of the environment primer the impacts of climate change if you talk about the average temperature for the first nine months of 2023 and you compare it with the year 1991 to 2002 it is 0.52 degree celsius more so what do we see that there is a rise in average global temperature and it is rising at a very rapid rate so this is all happening because of the climate change and the countries must come together to you know discuss the impacts and uh, find out solutions to this climate change and they should also work and come together for maintaining the average temperature of 1.5 degree celsius which sadly the 2023 it is uh, assumed that it will break this record for the very first time now if i talk about the three month period between june and august it was the warmest ever on record and September managed to carve out another exception, like another alarming situation. The average global temperature for September was 1.75 degrees Celsius, warmer than the average of 1850 to 1900 period. So, what is this 1850 to 1900 period? It is the pre industrialization period. So, when we were discussing the climate change aspects in our very first lecture of Environment Primer, we saw that the climate change is reckoned after the industrial revolution the history goes back to the industrial revolution phase so this september has broken all records of the pre-industrial uh, period and uh, has this september has been the warmest ever september we recorded as per the report that has been published by the european union's climate change watchdog and all that is happening is because of the climate change impacts which we are facing now if we disc if i discuss about the status of upcoming months of 2023 so uh, we were also pondering upon this question that whether in india we are going to experience a normal winter season or a warmer winter season we are going to experience a warmer winter season because the remaining three months of the year are also forecast to be warmer than usual why because El Nino year, El Nino year, 2023 is the El Nino year and El Nino is generally known for causing warmer temperatures ar around the globe. It is responsible for uh, changing the weather conditions around the globe and that is why apart from uh, climate change being an El Nino year also causes the heat this year and the upcoming months will also be warm if i talk about delhi that is india's capital with clear skies no rain and high humidity levels delhi has been warmer than usual so far this october so this was a news that has been published that no rainfall clear skies and high humidity has caused delhi to remain warmer this october so october what happens is in india we usually uh, start the 
it starts the coming of winter season in India. The temperature slowly, slowly starts decreasing. But if you talk about the average temperature we have experienced, this October it has remained above 35 degree Celsius. So, not only in September we are experiencing such high uh, temperatures in October as well, which is considered to be start of the winter season. So, imagine the drastic impacts of global warming on us. The maximum temperature has remained above normal on all days of October barring for two days. So, on two mornings we did not experience these high temperatures, but apart from those two mornings, on all days of October we are uh, experiencing this high temperature. Why blame the global warming? We are not doing going to discuss that we think that climate change is going to occur after 10 years. We are not very proactive in maintaining the Paris Agreement. We keep on fighting on various issues. The countries keep on fighting on various issues. The only positive outcome the countries have uh, uh, consensus and have agreed to reach is the tripling of the renewable energy resources. So, they have only agreed on this point and COP28 in which they are going to discuss, they are going to take a stock take of this year's uh, uh, climate change actions which they are going to take. So, this will be a big issue in the COP28 that is taking place in Dubai in the November 2nd week. That what the countries are actually doing to, you know, uh, mitigate the impacts of climate change. And the time has come that we start taking actual actions on the climate change. Un uh, un otherwise, we are going to face a very dreadful impact of climate change on us. And the temperatures will keep on rising. The global warming will keep on occurring. So, with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion. If you ask me ma'am what is the way forward? How are we going to deal with this situation of climate change? Firstly, we need to consolidate our, our efforts on the climate change actions. We really need to make this decade as a climate action decade as the ac uh, action decade on climate change. We really need to put in genuine efforts to mitigate what is happening. And if you talk about what can the countries do in short term, nothing. Until and unless there is a situation like uh, situation in COVID-19 pandemic, the in short term, the countries can only talk about increasing the amount of efforts they are putting already putting in. So, let us see what happens in the COP28, which is taking place in the November this year. And what the countries agree to reach upon to mitigate all of these worse impacts of climate change. Now, let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination. So, the question is consider the following statements. Your statement number 1 is 2023 is warm because of El Nino effect. Your question number 2, uh, statement number 2 is September 2003 is the warmest month of 2023. Which of the following statements given above is are correct? Your options are option A is 1 only, option B is 2 only. Option C is both 1 and 2 and option D is neither 1 nor 2. Kindly drop your answers in the comment box below. Now, let us analyze a practice question for your mains examination. So, the question is discuss the impact of climate change on average global temperatures. In the introduction, you will write about what is climate change. As I have explained in, to you in my environment primer lectures that climate change is the uh, condition uh, changing weather patterns over the globe and you will write about the global warming the greenhouse gases are rising and hence they are causing global warming or the rise in average global temperatures you will also write that this rise in global temperatures in is in further impacting the weather conditions around the globe we are experiencing warmer years uh, the ice is also melting the uh, you will also write that Another factors of climate change such as excessive flooding of some areas due to the melting of ice and you will also write the that the colder countries are experiencing also experiencing warmer temperatures. So, we will discuss all of this in your main sensor and you can conclude that we need to take uh, some positive actions regarding mitigating the climate change and we really need to make this decade as a decade on action on climate change rather than discussing that climate change, what are we are going to do when it is there. 
it is actually here we need to understand that it is actually here it is not a phenomenon that is going to take place after 10 years no so we'll write to our, uh, about what other countries can do to mitigate all of the impacts of climate change on us i hope this session was insightful for you if you liked the today's video and found this discussion to be helpful kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates thank you Thank <laughs> you.